Hi, I'm Chris Gobbin. I'm the founder of In the House, and I'm here with our Chief Operating Officer, Nita Sanger. And uh, this is a series of what we call house calls, where we talk about the issues that are very important to general counsel and um, their, the rest of the folks in the legal department. And today we're discussing what are the top five issues facing businesses today and how does that affect GCs and the legal department. So Nita, would you mind um, going through these uh, top five issues that we identified with our community? No problem. So Chris, so the thing that we kind of laid out was we wanted to say was that there's, these are, so we highlighted five issues that we thought were going to be really relevant for businesses today, given everything that's going on. The first was, how do you ensure the safety of your employees and customers as they're going to be coming back into work? The next one being what, what has happened in the market as it relates to your business? Has your, has the need, has your business need shifted, which means are your clients looking for something else? And this could be like, if you're in a retail, do, do your people still want to come to your store or would they rather do things online? So it's very critical to assess where your business is with relationship and has the customer need switched during the current time frame. The next is now that you've kind of said, okay, what, what, my, what are my customers needing? The, the third thing to kind of think about is, and this is a big issue that a lot of businesses are going to need to address is, how do, I op how do you optimize the operations of your business? Given everything that's going on, to, and, and the idea needs to be that you're going to try to maintain your top line of your business, while also sort of making sure that you keep your margin. So it's very important to think about what do I need to do to maximize my operations? And then... The next one would be, what are the right talent models given what my business is going to need going forward? How many people do we need to have in the office? How many of them are gonna be remote? Then it could be, do I need to have people full-time? Do I get gig economy workers? Do I get other experts? Or do I use a specialist platform? So that's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of model changes and that's what people need to think about. And then the fifth one we highlighted was, the thing of diversity and inclusion, given everything that's going on right now and how much energy there is behind it, we think this is something that you cannot avoid. It's very important for businesses to address this at this time. All I just wanted to say was, Chris, if I give it to you, is that these are five issues that we felt were really like relevant for almost all businesses. These are not the only five. I'm sure there's a lot of others, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, so as you know, we, we talked over this issue with the um, general counsel community within in the house during GC Casual Friday. And um, I think the GCs also added some really interesting strategic takeaways that kind of tie together multiple strands of, of those issues that we identified. First of all, we definitely got the message loud and clear that these are not the only five. I think these five did resonate. Um, but there are other issues, and it also varies quite a bit by industry, uh, by the own, by the particular unique culture of a business and of a legal department specifically. So, for instance, uh, people in retail, people in hospitality—that's they've been uh, impacted in many ways in a larger way than other uh, some other business areas. Um, also, certain GCs we've heard from GCs in say pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, GCs in manufacturing. There's some optimism that those areas might actually be stronger during the recovery than they were before because of the needs to address the coronavirus pandemic, uh, perhaps a resurgence in manufacturing in the states. So we did hear from some GCs in those sectors, and they have an interesting, particularly uh, an interesting experience with regard to the current conditions. Also, um, the GCs emphasize that these five areas and other issues aren't in isolation, right? They, they overlap and they intersect in very interesting and divergent ways. Um, and one of the additional key takeaways that the GC shared with us was these, all these issues, these five and others, they affect uh, not only the operations of the legal department as filtered through the business. So in other words, say uh, having a, a, a diverse workforce, having, um, tapping into new uh, HR models for talent. Um, these impact directly the legal department, number one, because the legal department is part of the business, but they also impact the type of advice mm -hmm. and how the legal department is um, giving advice to the business units to make sure that all the 
uh, obviously a lot of laws and regulations are impacted by each of the five issues you discussed. And then finally, um, I guess to end on a silver lining note, these are all opportunities for general counsel and other in-house counsel to emerge as leaders because these touch on risk management and that's really our core uh, expertise. So we, I think a lot of the GCs felt that this was a real opportunity for them to step up and be perceived as an even stronger leader and as an even stronger partner to the C-suite and the other business units. Uh, but thank you, Nita. I really appreciated this discussion. Thank you.